Ladies and gentlemen, Science Drift here with some more World of Tanks. We've got the T-34 American Heavy. Let's see how this goes. Standard battle, not one of the new modes. It's kind of unfortunate because I actually enjoy the King of the Hill mode. It really forces a lot of people to go for a single objective. There's a lot more action right away, in my opinion. But here we are. So, not tiered very well. Uh, however, I'm fairly confident that this gun can still do a fair amount of damage. I'm going to hang out at one of the typical locations here. Not a lot of friendlies on this side, so this is where we need to be. However, we also don't want to be the first person spotted. Some big artillery on their side that I don't want to get hit by. Alright, let's pull up to this spot right here. Move in at first engine speed. Keep it slow. Oh, contact. IS-4. No pen. Back out. Because we don't want to get hit by Artie. Reload time on this is so slow. Especially when you're used to playing other tanks. Because I haven't really played the T-34 in uh, a while. and Let's see. IS-4 and T-30. Okay. Where are they looking? I think they've already fired. Careful. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! That was an HE shot that didn't make it. I think it just... Hit the turret, no damage, so we're clear. Oh crap, dude. Are you serious? Get away from me, man. I think he's using my old meat shield trick, but unfortunately it's annoying the heck out of me. That Patton looks like he crept along the other side. I think that's what fired at me. Oh yeah, we've got an IS-4. I think that's nothing but a cupola shot. I've got nothing there. Watch for friendlies. He's going to get lit. So, which means we need to go in. And use that. Nothing. Nothing. Something of them. It looks like just a... Dang it, just backed up just in time. Not that that would have hit necessarily anyway. Okay, so... No. Alright, this guy's creeping up. Come on, somebody show themselves. Uh, there we go. That was dead on turret, I think. That was a T-30, though, tank destroyer. I'm assuming his armor is not going to be as amazing. His gun, on the other hand, you don't want to get hit by that. There's that IS-4. He's, he's just going all the way in. So our team's flanking, so let's follow in. Might be able to get some good hits in here if we can make it in time. Hold the line. There we go. Alright, IS-4 front. What do we got? Any sight line? Negative. Continue the push. Get to the house. Careful, don't get cocky. So you kind of want to flank around on this side. I don't think that went anywhere. I was trying to go for the underbelly, but that didn't happen. I've been having issues with this tank uh, recently. If if my reticle isn't completely 
um, shrunken, I guess you could say, that my accuracy is just garbage. Oh, hello. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Bat chat. That's all that's left. Bat chat. Where's he at? Oh, man. That's a hit. Well, somebody's got a nice finishing shot on him. Oh, it just went over. Can we do it? Come on, reload, reload, reload. Boom, yes. Everybody's always racing for that last kill. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. Nice. That was fun. On to the next. Let's switch it up. How about we go to the... Let's go do one in the Panther. Which I still keep forgetting to do the perks. I've been thinking about the perks. A lot of people, again, I, I keep talking about this, but a lot of people pick repair as their first major perk. And the thing is, if, if your combat style is to not take as many hits, or if you play supportive, defensive, sniper, I know it's important to get back up and running as quickly as possible, but... It almost feels like I would rather have a more active perk, something that helps with experience or, or damage or, or something. And I know the perks are, are, for the most part, pretty balanced. They're not really meant to offset, uh, you know, the gameplay too much. But I just feel like the repair perk is just sitting there. Like it's it's only you know active when you're have been when you have been damaged. So if if you're not damaged. It just feels like I want something that's always going to be in use. And, and that's how I feel about a lot of things, whether it's equipment and MMOs or shooters or whatnot. So I don't know. I'm going to have I'm still kind of thinking about that. I mean, obviously, I take a lot, you know, I take damage, but I think that I'm more cautious than most people. So I'm wondering if the repair is, is that necessary. I have to look at some of the other things, though, because I guess if you just. I think you have a total of three perks that you can eventually choose. Hello. Oh, he's on the word. That's a hit, but no damage. We are probably lit, though. Oh, back up. Don't want to run into that guy. I don't like where I'm at because I'm too close to the front line. Eh. Contact. Tiger. No sight picture. We've got two pieces of artillery. Most likely we're lit, but I would assume that others are as well. I want to cut in from the left. That way we've got cover of other tanks. We got gentlemen. Tiger must be right behind that building, I'm guessing. Kind of open there, we gotta be careful, because there's a lot that we can't see, and that is always the downfall to this game. I think it would be interesting if there was a hardcore mode for this title. Maybe like just like a realism version where similar mechanics, but a pen would be devastating, like a real tank. I mean, it is what it is. I just think it'd be neat if there was an, an option. Alright, I'm going to try to scoot across here. I have a wall of tanks here protecting me. Not a lot of attention on this tight. Oh, crap. Gun depression is not good! Son of a... Uh, you know what? I'm so used to the American gun depression. Can't get a sight picture on him. Guys, you see this? Alright, just making sure. Keep him busy. Maybe this M18 can come around here. Yeah, look at me. Not happening. I can't deal with that turret. Shoot, this is going to be a bad game for me if we're not careful. What is... 
trying to figure. All right, what's he looking at? Is he? He's looking right over here. So screw that noise. Tiger two, you go take care of him. All right, they're going in for a bum rush. Stick to the damage target. I'm gonna have a problem here. Stick to the other target. Stay on target. Come on, he needs one more. Ah, that was just a bad dog fight. Ah, I should have stayed back more. I don't know what I was thinking. My tank is supposed to be a sniper. But them's the brakes. The whole team's going down. I wouldn't have really made much of a difference. What do we got here? IS-6. Yeah, look, how, look at the difference in speed, what that can do for you, especially considering that the AMX has an auto loader. Done. Tiger 2 is just playing around with them. These guys are hugging it out. So, yeah. Well, we kind of all know how this is going to end, so let's go back to the garage. And let's go on with the Churchill. This one's worth a couple of laughs. What do we got? How many tier? Top tier. That's always the nice thing about this Churchill. Is it typically, for the most part, gets near the top, at the top, all the time. So it's a fun one. All right, mission capture the enemy. Uh, standard battle. You know, I've noticed today it's been mostly the standard battles. I think they lowered the ratio at which the other modes appear. Kind of disappointing because I had some some games that I played earlier to just kind of warm up a little bit, and it was just standard battles. I played maybe two of their King of the Hill modes, so I don't know. I mean, it's been so long since they, uh, I mean, it's been so long playing without a new game mode. They didn't add a game mode for the longest time. We finally get them, and, and now it just doesn't seem like they show up as much. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Everybody's going which direction? Where's the other Churchill going? Um, he's down on that side. Looks like we've got tank destroyers holding off that line. I'm going to carry on with these guys. Slug it out. This is a slugger. This thing likes to go out, close quarter battle, and just decimate. So, what do we have? Lee's, a.k.a. the wedding cake. Take cover down this hill. Alright, a lot of contact. Another Churchill who's already taken a hit. I kind of want to get into cover though before engaging because I don't want to leave my right flank open to fire. Which it will be from that B1 if we're not careful. We're coming in. We're going to deal with this Churchill, hopefully. BDR. Talk about property damage. All right, SU-85 is coming in. That T-28's seeing better days. This is... Oh, crap. That leaves me too open from my other flank. We need to pull back, buddy. All right, I'm going to come in. Nope, I can't. I got a dead end over here. All right, let's try to go past. All 
Let's see, what are they planning on doing? If they could come through this bottleneck... Contact Lee. Come on, guys, don't miss. He's down. Coming around on this Churchill. Mm, which way is he looking? Oh, he's looking right here. He's waiting for me to show up. BDR. Churchill's still right on me. I see ya. Yeah, if you want to come right here, that's fine by me, buddy. There we go. This guy might be a problem. I hope I... Fracking, where's the backup? What do we got? Let's see. Nothing. I had nothing with me. SU-85Bs all the way back there. Panzer III. That was one of those situations where I thought there was more with me, but I was wrong. I should have paid attention to the allied scenario. What is this guy doing over here? It's just... Pretending he's a tank destroyer, I guess, so he's useless. T-40 is just protecting this side. Can't fault him for that necessarily. Not yet, anyway. We got some artillery. Just a bad engagement. I actually have problems with these BDRs. They're big, fat targets, but... Uh-oh. Ah. They've got enough armor to put up with my... Uh, cheap little six-pounder gun on the Churchill, so that's unfortunate. Well, all right, he's finally gone, but they've got a lot of tank destroyers around, so yeah, this one is going downhill. Back to the garage. All right, one more to go. You know what time it is. I think it's time for some old uh, M10 Wolverine. It's been a while. This is one of my favorites. I still think this thing is an underdog. I mean, the tearing sometimes, like this one here, mm, we'll see. Fast rate of fire, decent penetration, accuracy, a lot of fun. Just don't get hit. So I keep saying, same, standard battle. Again, I want some King of the Hill. The attack defend mode, meh. I don't know how I feel about that one. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to take right flank. As per usual. Am I missing something? Oh, crap. You know, I forgot to load up a med pack to revive a fallen crew member. Let's see. These guys are going to roll this way. Hopefully somebody rolls up in front so I can snipe. T1 Heavy, a.k.a. the Rolling Barn. Alright, I'm gonna... Oh, hang out right here. I think I'm experiencing a little bit of latency. This game's like fiber optic. No matter. You shall lag. Alright. Scope is up. We are good to go. Contact front. Uh, that's a miss. That was my fault. Shot. No dice. Nothing. There we go. One more. Oh, just went right over. We've lost them. If only I didn't miss those other shots. What about this KV? That wasn't me, I don't think. There we go. Stay on the damaged target. Let him finish him off. He's gone. Uh, what do we have there? Looks like a cupola shot, maybe, at most. KV-1. We can deal with him. What do we got? Like, not much. 
Not hit. Strange shots to hit, though. What do we got? KV-1S. How's the rest of the team looking? Eh, not much going on yet. Contact. We go for the lower hull. There we go. Keep on clicking. No damage. It's just not happening. There's a strike. All right, looks like there's a weak spot right where I'm aiming somewhere. <laughs> one more for ah, one more for good luck. I was about to say, and we take him out with a blind shot. Love it. See, sometimes you just gotta just go with your instinct. Fire one last blinder and let him have it. But we could still lose this. All right, what's the situation, guys? M6, M6, you can roll in on that guy. We got a KV-1 on this side, too. Oh, there we go. There's a nice tap for somebody. Take him out. All right. Roll in. Back up the heavies. There's another M10. Let's see what we got. We could do this. Just need to hold tight. Careful, do not get cocky. This is one tank you are not allowed to get cocky in. Alright, we need to... I think we just need to rush in on the... Oh, crap. Hello, sir. He's got that slow turret. Run! Oh no, what hit me? No, 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 not an M10. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Go finish him off, please, M6. Oh, Gur. I said Gur. What did I say Gur for? Alright. <laughs> Just one more time. Oh. Oh, that was an R kill. I'm like, don't get cocky, and then I stop right in the middle of the field. To shoot at that Panzer. All right, looks like we got it. Whew. I I thought I was toast. Any time that you are being engaged in this thing, it's it's usually bad. It usually ends in a death. That's why a lot of people don't like it. Most people don't like it because of the armor. This is not supposed to be about the armor with this thing. It's that gun. It's the accurate gun that's pretty powerful for its tier, and uh, the, the rate of fire, just DPS. A lot of people would, you know, sell this thing. I've kept it. It's a fun one to go back to. If you think about it, guys, you always want to have a garage filled with tanks, because when one tank is down in battle, you go to the next, you go to the next, you go to the next. If you're having money problems, it's because you don't have enough tanks, and if you want the higher tier tanks, you have to have lower tier ones to pay for the repairs of the higher tiers. That's how it works. All right, that wasn't too bad. Had some fun with that. 33 shots, 23, 23 on target, and we are good to go. Nothing there, but not usual. All righty. Well, anyways, with that, ladies and gentlemen, once again, don't forget, World of Tanks, 100% free. Link in the description below, and I will see you on the next one.